Good afternoon. First of all, let me thank the organizer and in particular Letizia Moratti for inviting me to this very important event. I'm very pleased to be able to share with you my thoughts, although I apologize for not being there in person. The government is about to approve the financial document, which is key to the economic policy framework for the Italian economy. The concept of positive economy is very rich and interesting. And it is very tempting for me to make a connection between the concept on which you are debating today and what the government has been doing since its in coming into office, which is based on a very strong and decisive program of structural reforms. Structural reforms can be thought as a process by which outcomes and well-being are improved by changing behavior. And changing behavior, in turn, is the result of new rules and better implementation of existing rules. This is what we're doing, and this is what is leading already to tangible positive benefits. Let me describe shortly some of the cases in which structural action by the government is already showing tangible results. First of all, employment and job creation. I always repeat to myself that the ultimate measure of a successful economic policy is how many new jobs are created. And not only it is an issue of how many jobs, but which jobs, which quality jobs are created, which conditions are offered to young people who are ultimately suffering from still pervasive unemployment in Italy and in Europe. The Jobs Act is a major labor market reform, which has been introduced as one of the first actions of the government. It aims at providing stronger incentives for open-ended contracts. It aims at eliminating the barrier between the so-called ins and outs in the labor market, where the outs, unfortunately, are usually the young people and women. We have introduced new rules which facilitate the adoption of open-ended contracts. And we have supported those new rules with generous tax benefits. Results are very encouraging. Since its inception, the government has been able to create more than 300,000 new jobs through open-ended contracts. This is the net figure. Gross figures are larger and indicate that there is also an improvement in quantity but also in quality of jobs. This is important for many reasons. Because households have higher income, because the potential growth of the economy is stronger, and because confidence in the future is also much more supported. The young people can now expect to find a job in much better conditions than it used to be the case only a few years ago. But this is just the first step of a long journey towards structural change of the economy and society. Let me mention one element which traditionally has been finger pointed as one of the main obstacles of doing business or doing normal activities or living everyday life in Italy, civil justice. Civil justice is being dramatically simplified. The time needed to end a trial has been dramatically reduced the number of trials has been dramatically reduced, which means not that we have less justice, but we have more and better justice, and both the citizens and society benefit. Another major area of improvement which affects the performance and behavior of everyday life is tax administration. The guiding principle for tax reform is cooperative compliance. In practice, this means the tax administration helps citizens honest taxpayers to perform their tax duties in a much smoother way and lose much less time than it used to be the case. This has a beautiful outcome, not only in terms of better lives for taxpayers, but also for more income for the government and more revenue for the budget, which itself means more resources transferred to citizens to, for instance, lower taxes. A better tax administration also is enshrined in a very strong international cooperative effort which Italy has led since its inception in terms of transparency, exchange of information, which is now being carried out under the auspices of the G20 
and supported technically by important work by the OECD. Better administration strengthens transparency, confidence, and results. One key element of a better administration system is less, if any, corruption. To fight corruption, we have established a dedic dedicated agency, ANAC, which is now at the forefront of making sure that whatever is done in the country in terms of relationship between the public sector and the private sector is, is cleaned off of any form of corruption. Results are already coming and important events which ex ante were at risk of being affected by corruption have proved themselves to be very transparent, very successful. And again, this is, can be seen in the results. Citizens can appreciate and touch materially the fact that corruption is being addressed very effectively in the country. Ultimately, wealth in a country is created by enterprises, and especially in Italy and in many other countries, by small business. Small business is a micro world which can co combine human capital, wealth, ideas, savings, into new products, new wealth, and more well-being. So this is the way to create more wealth, but also to create more jobs. And this is why it is important to see the support of companies in conjunction with the other reforms I've already mentioned. However, we also need some dedicated measures, which we have developed over time under the program which we call Finance for Growth. This is a very ambitious program which is continuously ad adjusted and updated with the introduction of measures helping companies to work better, to innovate more, to grow larger, to be more resilient over the longer term, and therefore to be in a better position to create more and better jobs. The activities of companies is essential in accelerating growth in the country after a prolonged recession which has taken away as much as 10 percentage point of gross domestic product from the economy. In conclusion, a positive economy, in my view, is one in which not only individual decisions are effective, but even more importantly, in which the overall decision scheme of economic policy is relying on a coherent framework by which all the tools available to policy action, the budget, taxes, public spending, investment, education, school reform, jobs reform, civil justice reform, are consistently organized so that the outcome can be more well-being, more jobs, and a more positive economy going forward. Let me thank you once again for this opportunity, and let me wish you all the best for this very important conference.